Okay, everybody. This is Silent Protagonist back on the mic. Let's do some updating. Uh, you've got the players, right? Oh, okay, cool. That's right. Rama with the pro controller is kind of throwing me off here. You're good to go. Well, that was a... Whew, my nerves are still kind of rattled with that match. That was a very nice game. Alright, so we've got uh, Rama probably going... Uh, Mario. I imagine T-Rex is going to go Roy. Yeah, we're good. All right, so we're gonna start on. Pl uh, I keep wanting to call it PlayStation 2. Sorry, uh, Pokemon Stadium 2. We're just gonna call it PS2. I'll never have that problem again. All right, into the match. So one thing that uh, T Rex is gonna have to look for, look out for, is uh, well, those uh, name tags are throwing me off. <laughs> Okay, so here's something kind of unprecedented. I was completely wrong. Uh, T-Rex is actually going Mario. Okay, right, so this will be kind of interesting to see. So I know that uh, Rama has a pretty strong Link. Um, I know that Dakota was telling me to tell him to go Link uh, a couple weeks back when he was playing against somebody. <coughs> Rama definitely uh, hungry for some tournament action this week. He's been practicing, he says wants to take the whole thing. So we'll see if he can do that today. First victim, or... Could be T-Rex. Alright. Good dash attack. I don't see him using too many uh, projectiles, no? Well, let's just say that. I may be wrong. Uh, T-Ray actually picking a pretty good character to fight against Link. Uh, with that cape, he'll be able to reflect you know, his boomerang. He'll be able to reflect his uh, bow. So I imagine he probably opted to pick the Mario over the Roy because there's not a really good counter to that. So Rama's going to take the second stock now. Uh, four stock to two. Rama really strong with his Link, showing he's no slouch. I feel like TRX is probably pretty solid with his Mario. He just needs to improve his combo game a little bit. That, that dash attack that he did a little back could have uh, comboed into so many different things and could have tacked on a lot of percentage there. All right, so we got an edge guard situation. Couldn't quite get the edge guard. Probably should have just hogged it and then uh, rolled on. Up smash out of shield. Up B. Good dash attack, pops him up. Can he get anything from it? No. Set him up with another bomb, though. And forward smash. Couldn't quite close out the stock, but he's got that bow charged up. And that will take the stock, though. He couldn't quite recover. The pressure just may have been too much. Alright, so he finally takes his first stock. He's got a lot of work to put in if he wants to win this game. He may be just be kind of feeling out Rama's uh, Link a little bit more. Maybe thinking about his counter pick already. So that he'll be a little bit more prepared. Okay, so Rama, actually no slouch with the, the projectile game. Lays that bomb in front of him and then picks another one to throw out. So he's never bombless. He's going to take the first game though. All right, going back to a character that he knows and loves, uh, T-Rex is going to be playing uh, Roy. All right, so we got Stage Rex going on here. Let's see, if I'm playing against a Link, I definitely would want to avoid any flat stages. I would want to go for something with some platforms. Skyloft could be a good pick, but I don't think it would be the strongest. Skyworld? I mean, it's got platforms and it could definitely help out his uh, recovery game, and he's going to opt to go to that. Alright, so back into it. Alright, we got jabs, forward smashes. 
boomerangs. Link's got it all, folks. T-Rex kind of having trouble getting anything started. His pressure just being a little bit too much for him to handle. Now, while this is the character that he knows and loves and probably is more familiar with, the Fire Emblem characters have kind of a tough time dealing with uh, a lot of the projectile game with some characters. Link being no slouch to that. Oh, but an unfortunate SD is going to even up the stocks. We got good combos going here from Link. He's already got T-Rex up to 62%. I got some. Get him off stage. Forward smash. Not gonna be enough to seal the stock, the stock though. Oh, I feel like T Rex was in that shield a little bit too long. And uh, another good option that he probably could have utilized was a wave dash out of the shield to kind of close the distance between him and Rama and uh, try to get closer in order for him to take that stock. But he makes the recovery. Let's we'll see what he can make of it. So every time that uh, Rama's been getting him off stage, he's been able to charge up that bow, get an arrow ready, to try, kind of try to mix up his recovery options. Very good stuff by him. Oh, goes a little bit too deep for that edge guard though. A pretty light punish from it too. So nothing to value too much lost. Although he's off stage now. Oh, got a sweet spot those. That's a good nair. And a good edge guard. That's going to take his stock and even it back up. Let's see if he can take the lead here. Oh. A, kind of a missed space down air there. No punish from it, though. All right, semi spike up B. Oh, arrow's going to keep him off stage, and he takes the stock with just a little arrow. Alright, projectile game. So one thing I like about uh, Rama's uh, Link that I'm seeing is that he, he there's a time and a place for the projectiles, and it's just not the whole entire match. He'll definitely use them at the smartest times, but he's not going to just forsake the Master Sword because that is uh, his main weapon. Oh! Reverse sweet spots that up B. Gets back on stage. Is he going to be able to make anything of it though? That pretty high percentage. He's got to put in some serious work if he wants to take this uh, game and hold on to his tournament life. And that takes the set. Rama's going to win that too. Oh.